is Michaela and Crystal with the Ocean Edge team at Century 21 North Homes. And this week, we're gonna give you an update on what's been going on in the Ocean Shores real estate market for August, 2021. We're gonna talk about the facts and figures from August and what may be driving those numbers. Crystal, what are the numbers looking like in the region for August? Well, this month we saw the Ocean Shores median sales price come up to 350,000, which is up 28% year over year. For the region, we're seeing home prices continue to climb. We're seeing 18% less listings at 56 this year than we did last year. 51 homes were sold, which is down almost 2% year over year, but we're still seeing lots of for sale signs on existing homes and vacant lots and an average of 25 days on the market compared to 99 days last year. Average sales price is 382K, which is up 28% year over year. Buyers are paying an average of 1% under the list price, which is down from July when it was 1.7% over list prices. We're still seeing lots of new building going on in this area, mostly single family homes. And the demand for new construction homes has been so high that builders oftentimes can't even keep up. Uh, so Michaela, what kinds of things are we seeing in terms of new construction? Well, we're seeing many people that come out to, to a new city or state, they want to live in a brand new home. And there's a big drive for new construction in this area. However, right now the area is lacking a little more in new construction homes compared to last year. Looking at new construction in the 98569 area code for August, we're seeing only 11 new construction listings compared to last year where we saw 26, and that's down 57% year over year. And we're also down from the month prior at 16. By the way, if you're liking this video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Ocean Shores used to be a big draw for mostly retirees, and right now we're seeing a bit of a shift. Retirees are still purchasing out here, but we're seeing many more young families moving out here just to get away from the craziness of the city. Am I right? That's right. Yeah, and we're also speaking with people who want to buy a second home to use for vacationing. And we're also seeing more investors purchasing lots and building on them. And the city is really experiencing so much growth because of that. And the population in Ocean Shores in April 1st of 2020 was 6,715. Now it's 7,282, which is the highest it's ever been. That's 567 new residents from only a year ago. Yes, and there's still so much room for growth. There are still many vacant lots being listed. And in August, 57 lots came on the market, which is down from the previous month of 66. August 2020, we saw 80, 58 lots, so we're only down 1.7% year over year. And the median sale price is 53,000, which is down from the previous month of 67.5. August of last year, the median sale price was 39,000, so we're up 35.9% and a huge demand for lots out here, which is driving that price. Like they say, life is better at the beach, right? Right. And Actually, according to Beach Town Report from Vacasa, Ocean Shores is the nation's best place to buy a beach house or even buy a vacant lot and just camp on it. There are so many cleared lots here that were made for bringing your RV and camping out 90 days out of the year. We hope that this video was helpful for you. And if you know anyone who's interested in buying a property in Ocean Shores, we'd love to be your real estate resource. Feel free to reach out to us with any questions you might have. And thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.